In some past videos, I've talked about binary search trees and how to put them together. Uh, however, I took a data set that was very well structured and so the tree was nice and balanced. And then in some of our other videos, we went over red black trees and how to balance a tree that wasn't uh, really structured the way you'd want a red black tree to be structured. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take an array and how you create or construct a binary search tree tree based on the elements of that array in their original order. So you can see on the right hand side here we have an array with elements 5, 7, 1, 15, 9, 2, 14, 8, 7, and 3. And so if we're going to create a binary search tree with this array they have to actually go in order and so I'm going to show you how that works. So uh, the first element in our array is going to be 5 and so it's nice easy we create 5 and put it inside of the uh, at the root node. The next one we're going to use is going to be 7 and because 7 is greater than 5 it'll do that comparison and then it'll put 7 on the right hand side right next to 5. After that we have a 1 one is less than five, so it goes to the left. And right here we have a very nice basic tree structure. We have our root node. We have one being the item or the node to the left, seven to the right. So far everything is normal. Now we're going to add 15. 15 is greater than five. It's greater than seven, so it needs to go all the way to the right. Now I'm just going to start adding some more in order in the array. So we go 5, 7, 15. Now 9 is less than 15 and so we put it there on the left. Now if you are familiar with red black trees or some of these more self-balancing trees you would know that this is not the way this would have been constructed. Uh, it would have uh, rebalanced itself and would have uh, swapped out the 9 right here so the 9 would be connected to the 5, the 7 would be on the left hand side, 15 on the right hand side. However, this is just a regular binary search tree so we have to treat it as such and we have to add the elements in order and this is the reason why people created things like red black trees was because uh, as you'll see here in a minute this uh, tree is going to look pretty odd in a short period of time. So next element is 2. 2 is less than 5 so we know it goes to the left. It's greater than 1 so we'll get pulled over into the right. Then we're going to add 14. It's greater than 5, greater than 7, but less than 15 so it's going to move to the left and it's greater than 9. So you'll see that moves all the way to the bottom of our binary search tree. So we have 14, we have just three elements left, we have eight. It's going to traverse the tree. We see that it's greater than seven, but less than 15 and less than nine. And our last, uh, our second to last one is seven. Now that seven is an interesting one because you can see that it is greater than five. It's actually equal than seven, but because it's equal to seven, it's not less than seven, it gets moved it goes to the right, it's less than 15, less than 9, less than 8, and it goes right here. So even though these two nodes are actually the same value, one is directly a descendant of the root node and the other one is all the way here. Now it is uh, the closest node to this 7 because they are equal and so it's neat to see the way that that automatically happens but it's still pretty uh, important to see that you can have a tree that is structured like this if you take everything in order. And the last one we're going to do is a 3 and that's greater than 1, greater than 2, so it gets pulled here. And so given this data structure here on the right hand side this is what a visual representation of the tree would look like. So you can see it's not balanced, however it is properly structured. If you were to uh, run a search on this, so say that we wanted to find 8. So if we want to find 8, it'll go to 5, 7, 15, it's less than 15, so it knows to look to the left, it's less than 9, 
and there it is that uh, it found the element so this is how you construct a binary search tree given an array